Hey guys, um, it's at the house with Sarah. Um, I just wanted to do a video today. We're gonna do a Sunday sit down, but I'm doing the video on Saturday. But when you guys are able to see it, it will be Sunday. Um, this one, I'm just gonna kind of talk, just you know, whatever comes to my mind. Um, I'm not gonna necessarily hurry up and uh, try to shorten it. So, um, like another YouTuber said that I've watched, um, if you like videos just hearing people talk, then here you go. Um, but yeah, so I'm still a little bit uh, nasally. I am a lot better. I've been um, sick off and on for like a two week period. I had strep throat and then I had um, whatever stomach bug has been going around. Um, I know in my last short, I asked for prayers for my son. Um, just continue to please pray for him. He's still uh, somewhat under the weather. Uh, we've taken him to the doctor twice, had him tested for everything. It's all came back negative, so uh, we don't know what it is. We're just uh, kind of treating it like it's a cold. Um, he is better than what he was. Um, he's currently, he's not been running a fever or anything like that um, <clears throat> so but uh, and my husband he's doing really good with uh, the wisdom teeth being removed uh, he's not really in any pain which is a good thing um, he's slowly able to start eating some stuff still soft foods and whatnot um, but he's he's doing really good so that was a blessing I was kind of worried about it um, but yeah just continue to pray and uh, just continue to pray for uh, me and, and like I said my family um, I really appreciate it and I wanted to do a shout out to my uh, subscribers on here and uh, to my returning viewers thank you guys so much um, I don't know like names or anything I can't see that but um, like I've said before if you guys will comment down below um, and just let me know who you are I'd really love to hear from you um, I'll try to respond um, as soon as I can and um, as always uh, if you want to give this video a like and um, if you're not subscribed to my channel um, I would appreciate it if you do um, I've said it before but for some that they might not know really how YouTube works um, when you subscribe it it doesn't cost anything to do that uh, it is free. It just means that um, every time I upload a video or a short, you'll be able to see it. And if you hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, then um, you'll get a notification on your phone just whenever I upload. But um, yeah, so also in my last short, I kind of spoke a little bit about um, if you are going through hard times, which who isn't? Um, if you're struggling or whatnot, um, that God is there for you, um, and He really is, guys. Like I said, I'm learning that myself um, to kind of let Him be in control. It's easier said than done. As humans, you know, we want to be in control of everything, um, but I'm I'm slowly starting to get there, and. Um, I've been praying about it, and I've been um, reading devotionals more, and I'm trying to get back into reading my Bible, um, and um, yeah, I'm trying to get better with my relationship with God, get closer with God, because that's what He commands us to do. Um, he wants to hear from us. Um, I'll tell you guys, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but um, I started this channel because God told me to start this channel. Um, I do a lot of my talking, this is going to sound really weird, but I do a lot of my uh, talking to God um, in the shower, because uh, for the ones of you that watch me that are moms, you guys understand, you don't get a lot of alone time, even for dads. Uh, shout out to the guys that watch my channel too, by the way, thank you. Um, I can see that I have men that watch me, so that's really awesome. Um, I also have people like around the world that watch me too. So 
um, I'm really thankful for that and um, just yeah just all this support I, I just love it um, but anyway so yeah I was um, I was taking my shower and whatnot I was talking to God like I'm talking to you guys right now that's just how I do it um, you know, some people might not do it that way, but we all have our own way, and I, I just kind of, you know, I just kind of talk to God, uh, like, I mean, we're supposed to talk to him, you know, like a friend, because he's supposed to be our number one friend, so I just kind of talk to him, you know, and, um, so I was talking to him, and I was like, you know, I've been really, like, dancing around the idea of being on YouTube, you know, I watch a couple people on YouTube, um, and I'm like, man, I really would like to do that. I would like to have my own channel. But I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm not really, like, an outgoing person. I used to be. Um, but I'm not now. Um, I have problems with anxiety and, um, and things like that. I'm trying to overcome that. I'm trying to get myself out there more. And, you know, it's really funny because, well, it's not funny, but, like, <clears throat> so... Sorry guys, I'm I'm just <clears throat> trying to clear my throat. Um, but um, and this idea popped in my head, and it was uh, initially it was the idea that came in my head was at the home with Sarah, and um, that's already been taken. So I was like, well, what about out the house? And ooh, sorry guys, my dog is down there, and she shook and her collar made a noise and it scared me um anyway i'm on my phone again because i need to save up money to actually buy a camera that i can record on um but right now i'm making videos on my phone um so yeah anyway i'm getting off topic um but yeah i i know that god put that idea in my mind to do this and i know first and foremost it was to get the word out there um, for people to hear me just talk about God um, you know in these times that's what we have to do as as Christians and as followers of, of Jesus Christ um, we need to just just speak about him like all the time just you know talk about him anytime you can to anybody that you can um, not you know so much like preaching to people you know but just just talk about him you know just just get the word out there. Don't be afraid. Um, you know, we are going to be uh, persecuted in one way or another. These are the end times. I truly believe that. Um, as you know, and that's what that's what Jesus says is going to happen to Christians. And you know, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, <clears throat> but anyway, that's what's going to happen. It's you know and. And we can't be afraid of that because, um, you know, my husband is always saying, like, this is our temporary home down here on earth and our eternal mansion is going to be up there with him. And, you know, that's pretty cool to think about that because, like, some of us might live in mansions down here. I don't. Um, I live in an older single wide trailer. Um, I haven't. I don't think I've said that before, but yeah, that's, that's my home. Um, I love my home. It's, you know, it, it still needs quite a bit of work and, and we've done a lot of work to it and it's come a long way. Um, you know, but to think about having a mansion, like it's going to be a nicer mansion than the Kardashians could ever dream of. And it's going to be permanent and it's going to be forever. And we won't owe a mortgage. We won't have, you know, we won't have to worry about any of that. And, um, uh, to me that's just really awesome and um, but you know it, Jesus said that if we're ashamed of him um, you know and like we act like we don't know him like then um, his father is going to feel the same about us um, it doesn't say it in those exact words that's just my words um, but you know I don't want that to happen I I want to go to heaven. I want my family to go to heaven. I want you guys to go to heaven. I don't want anybody to go to hell. And I'm going to tell you right now, hell is a real place. Uh, for those of you that don't believe it, that don't believe that God would send anybody there, let me tell you, God don't send nobody to hell. We send ourselves there. He gave us free will. He gave us our own uh, decision making. 
and we as mankind have just really ruined that and taken advantage of that but hell is real and if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing and you're not following God and you're following people of this world then you're in my opinion you're following the devil and that's no good um, we need to wake up this world it really needs God more so than it ever did it always needed him but it needs it more so now than ever and we just we got to wake up us as Christians we got to speak out we got to um, you know we got to do what we got to do to try to get people to Christ um, and to help our fellow Christians you know like Christians need help just as much or even sometimes maybe even more you know some people will probably disagree with that but but you know we need help too as Christians and we need our our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to pick us back up and to help us and to be there for us and um, you know and to help us through troubling times because Christians still have troubling times it's not all rainbows and butterflies and it's even more so because the devil is always trying to get us over on the worldly side and get us to, to follow him again you know and so we just gotta stay strong in our faith and we gotta keep our head up and we gotta be there for each other um, and it you know it, it, like I said more so now than ever um, I'm I'm always accepting anybody's prayers you know if anybody reaches out to me and says they're praying for me or like I asked for prayers the other day you know like and if any of you guys want to reach out to me in the comments um, and ask for prayers for anything I will pray for you no I'm not perfect no one is perfect the only perfect person is Jesus but you know I, I do my best and I'm trying my hardest to be the Christian uh, woman and Christian wife and mother that I'm trying you know that I can possibly be and we're supposed to put God first and then our spouse and then our child and I'm I'm, I'm trying to do that because let me tell you my little boy is my whole entire world and sometimes I kind of put him before my husband and it's okay because my husband you know puts him before me and and we never put him before Christ um, Christ is always first in our lives and in our, our family and our relationship uh, we're really trying to work harder on that too um, every day is is just as long as you're striving to do better and you're not going backwards then then you're doing good and in my opinion um, just keep it up like I said keep your faith just keep going God has got this God's got you he's gonna see you through whatever it is I know it seems tough and then that mountain is is you know real tall and you don't think you're ever gonna get over it but but you're gonna look back and you're gonna see that God got me through this and I did this and I couldn't have done this without God you know I've already spoke about you know losing my first child and um, you know um, this at the end of this month uh, my dad will have been gone for two years and um, that still doesn't seem possible to me um, but you know like I couldn't have got through it without God I'm still getting through it you don't you don't ever get over it you just you learn to to just kind of go with it you know and I I love my daddy but I didn't know that it was gonna hurt so bad for him to be gone because you know you don't ever think about when you're you know as young as I am that you're not gonna have your parents or one of your parents and and I know that there's there's all kinds of people that have went through that and and my heart goes out to you for anybody that you're young old whatever you've lost anyone in your life um, I know that death is inevitable we're all gonna die we're you know we were all born to die I've heard that before um, but it, it don't get no easier I don't care who it is and let me tell you that just ripped my heart out and something on the ground when I lost my daddy and you know like my mom has said the same thing like she wouldn't have been able to have made it without God like you have to have God on your side you have to you just have to believe that he's there for you and that, that he's going to get you through it and 
And because if you don't, you're going to get in a very dark place and you don't want to be there. Because that dark place is where the devil's at, I'm telling y'all. Um, so yeah, we just we just need we just need Jesus. We need God. We need the Holy Spirit. We need we need all of it. Um, but that's kind of my my uh, my little spiel. Um, but yeah, so kind of switching off um, these bowls. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Kind of look. I got these bowls today at Walmart, 50 cents a piece. They're dishwasher safe, they're microwave safe, um, they're everything. They're they're really cool. They're hall for Halloween. Um, I'm not real big into Halloween. I like Halloween, and if you if Halloween's your favorite, then that's on you know that's great. Cause my mother-in-law, Halloween and Christmas, um, that's her her thing. And um, I saw these and I was like, man. 50 cents for a bowl, that's not too bad. You can't get nothing that cheap nowadays. Um, so I picked up two of those. Uh, hopefully, if they have more, I'm going to go back and get a few more so I can replace some of the bowls that I've got. Um, but, yeah. And also, since I've been sick, I know it's because I've not really been, you know, drinking a lot of fluids and stuff like I should be. But I don't know if y'all have this problem or not, but my lips have just been so dry. And um, I've been, I spoke about it before. Um, if you haven't watched the video, it's uh, uh, Small Town Spotlight Mama's Herbal. Uh, it's been a few videos back talking about Miss Rachel Vick making um, her uh, ointments and her soaps and lotions. And she even has an eye cream now. Um, well, eye cream slash face cream. Uh, for my ladies out there, even, you know, men um, can use it, like for, you know, your wrinkles or your dry skin or whatever. My mom uh, got some from her and she loves it, um, so she's going to start selling that too. Uh, I'll update you guys when I know, like, prices and stuff like that. But this lip balm right here, this, it's peppermint. It's my favorite. She's got uh, vanilla mint and lavender also i've also got the lavender when i use that quite often um but let me tell you I, I told you guys in that video but this stuff is the only stuff that works for my dry lips y'all need to contact her you need to watch that video i'll have her number in the description below again y'all need to be contacting her her stuff is amazing it's a god-given talent i'm telling y'all Y'all have been, been sleeping on it, but I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. And her stuff is reasonably priced, guys. Um, it's not like you go to the store and you go buy like a $70 bottle or something and it don't even work. Like this stuff works. It heals. It it makes your, your lips, your skin, whatever. It makes it moisturize. You don't even necessarily have to keep like applying this. Like I have a habit with chapstick. You know, like it's, I like to keep putting it on, but you don't have to. Your lips are going to be hydrated all day long. Your skin's going to be hydrated all day long. That bug bite is not going to itch. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, go, go check out the video. Mama's Herbal, Small Town Spotlight. Um, contact her, call her, text her, um, order some stuff from her, please. Um, <clears throat> and also, speaking of not being hydrated enough, um, this water, where's that? Right here. It's called Hint. H I N T. Hint water. This stuff, sorry, y'all can see the picture back there. Um, uh, this stuff is amazing. It's flavored water and um, it doesn't have any sweeteners in it, no aspartame, no nothing. It don't have no carbonation in it. Um, it doesn't have no calories in it. Uh, it's all natural. It doesn't have, uh, let's see, what's it say? It, it's uh, water infused with uh, fruit flavors. It's got zero calories, zero sweeteners. Uh, it's free of sugar, sweeteners, MSG, nuts, soy, gluten, and preservatives. And I like this stuff because TMI for some, but um, I have an issue with getting UTIs. So I have to be careful about like drinking a certain pop, um, and yes, I call it pop. 
I'm from Tennessee, but uh, my parents are from West Virginia, so uh, they call it pop. So I grew up calling it pop. So anyway, um, I have to be careful with drinking a lot of that stuff. Uh, some of them flavored waters, like the ones that have the carbonation and stuff in them, or the ones that have the aspartame in them, I can't. My my poor bladder. I told y'all TMI, but but it can't deal with it. I I gotta stay away from that stuff. Them little flavoring packets of water. Like, I can't drink a whole bunch of them, you know, because I, I, I have issues with it. But this stuff, guys, I'm going to tell you, since I've been drinking those, I feel like I've been intaking water better. I've been, I feel more hydrated. Um, I, I see where water, you know, our body needs water. You know, you hear that all the time, but, but you don't ever really think about it. But, yeah, I, I, I'm not seeing a difference. Um, and it's, it's not, the flavoring's not like too overpowering I don't think um, they got a lot of different flavors you can go on their website and order it um, I get mine from either Sam's Club or Walmart um, it's kind of expensive you get like at Walmart you get like 12 bottles for like 12 bucks and some change but um, yeah my uh, me and my husband we like them um, I'm, I'm like addicted to them now like, I drink regular water, too, but I like drinking those, um, a lot, you know, um, but yeah, and so, uh, yeah, go, go check those out, too, um, but yeah, so, I kind of think uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys, um, I had a little bit more to talk about, I'm getting kind of more out of my comfort zone, um, it's going to get better as I go along. Um, that's a river. Let me, uh, say, this is river. Rivers, rivers. There she is. Oh. She, she needs a bath. Um, but yeah, she's, she's like the communal dog. Um, we got her from a really good friend of mine. Um, and she goes down to our neighbor's house and, um, helps out with their farm animals down there. Uh, their daughters just love her. Um, she recently something happened to her a couple of days ago. She got a, attacked by something on the inside of her leg. So the neighbor guy he took her to the vet and got her some antibiotics and stuff. And she's doing good. Um, she's obviously up to date on our shots. She's been um, uh, spayed. She's good. Um, she'll be a year old in October the fourth. Um, but she's a really good dog. Uh, she, she's really good with my son. She, he can do anything to that dog. She don't even care. He can lay on her. Uh, he's got one of those dinosaur pop-up tents. Uh, they lay in that together and he'll read to her and they watch little, he watches YouTube Kids and Netflix and they'll watch shows together and she's right there with him. It's so cute. It's like on those movies where... You know, the dog and the, the person have such a close bond. Like, I've never seen a dog in my personal experience that's like that. But she is like that with him. Um, she's like that with the neighbor's uh, daughter. The youngest one, too. Uh, she's infatuated with her. She, like I said, she's just a community dog. Everybody loves River. Um, but, yeah. So, that's pretty much all I have today, guys. Um. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you again so much for all the support to my subscribers, to the people that uh, return to listen to my big mouth and listen to me, or not listen to me, but watch me, sorry. Um, I hope that I really am somehow, I pray for that all the time, that like I said, God wanted me to have this channel, and um, I know it was to get his word out, and I just pray that that somebody that this is this is touching you in some way, that this is helping you, um, that you know we can we can all be closer to God and, and like I said, please guys, comment down below um, on this video, reach out to me. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, I will respond. I'm, I am able to see comments. Uh, when they come up, and I try my best to respond to everybody, but, um, I love you guys, and, um, I hope you guys have a blessed one. Bye, y'all.